Hello Internet, welcome back to Fallout. I believe the game was running the entire last like hour when I took a break, so that's not great. We're going to be heading back to the old Brotherhood of Steel and we're going to be turning in a quest to them. We, I don't feel equipped to do anything in the Boneyard. Let's pop down here, see what this is. Unknown. Oh. Oh. Uh. See a zombie? A thug? They don't look like thugs. That's a teenager. I guess she had limited uh, sprite spaces or something or model spaces or whatever. I think I keep referring to these as sprites. I don't know if they're sprites or if they're like pre 3D rendered. Like uh, if they're 3D rendered and then they're just used as 2D or, or what the deal is with them. Zombie, huh? Talk to the zombie. Hello, stranger. May I help you? I've heard your message. I want to know more. I could use a full body massage or maybe something extra. Maybe later. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have no interest in being here. This appears to be the cult. I just don't really want to interact with them, to be honest with you. I'm not a big fan of cults. So let's just pop out of here. I'm actually a huge fan of cults. I'm curious about cults, but uh, I'm not interested in partaking in a cult or helping a cult. I don't know. Did I mention that in this series or not? I believe one of my relatives was involved with... Uh, being involved and scammed by Jamestown, or, um, what was that, what was the, I can't think of what their official name was, it, was it like the People's Chapel or something like that, the People's Church, oh, I got a dog barking outside, always exciting, gonna rattle up my dog, there she goes, um, the other night I was outside, I just heard a dog crying in the distance for like 10 minutes, and I was like, man, I don't know what's going on there. So I apologize. I don't know what the dogs are yipping about. What bothers me is that coronavirus is going on. And yet every day I see people walking their dogs like together. Like, like of course, your dog needs to go out and it's not a big deal. But like every day I see people walking together with no masks on, which uh, it's required by law now that you wear masks when you're outside of your house. And uh, I just went to the dollar store earlier I really thought we could get further away from you. Let's just kill this guy. Because we don't want him to escape. We want to get his loot. So they're definitely going to hit us. Let's spend our remaining points to reload. Them hitting us is not a big deal. We're fast traveling. Or we're traveling across the map. So we'll just heal over time very quickly anyway. In fact, we should really be using first aid at every opportunity to try and get some experience. I meant to do an aimed shot there. So that's a bit of a waste. Get him dog meat. That's a good boy. Yeah, I went to the dollar store earlier. And uh, I was in the store and I'm looking at tea. Because I like tea. And a lady walked up to me. And was like, oh, excuse me. And she walked past me. And I was like, in my head, I thought, what are you doing? You're supposed to stay six feet away from me. But whatever, she passed me. And I was like, okay, well, she just needed through. Okay, I mean, it's crappy. She shouldn't have done that. But whatever. And then she walked past me like four feet uh, and then stood right next to me. And I was like, lady, <laughs> what are you doing? You know, in my head, I was like, oh, for the love of God. And then at that same moment, because I was going to say something. I was just going to say like, oh, six feet. And when I was about to say something, another woman walked by and was like, oh, excuse me. And she stopped between us. And I was like, what are you doing? Uh, so I just walked away. I don't know what people are thinking, you know? Six foot means six foot. Then I go and I get in line. And I was like, okay, I'm standing in line. There's some, like, kid there who's, like, probably 12. And he's, he said, oh, where's the batteries? And she told him where the batteries are, which they're very obviously located near the front in big packages of batteries. Uh, but whatever. And then the kid, like, went to walk by me. And I moved out of his way. I walked into the aisle to let him pass. And uh, he stopped right where I was standing and was like looking at headphones. And I was like, three people in one store have just, and it get, there's even more. And, and I was like, three people in one store are not paying attention. And then when I was moving out of this kid's way, I looked behind me and saw that the lady behind me wasn't even wearing a mask. And they're supposed to kick people out if you're not wearing a mask. Uh, because the health department requires people to wear masks inside of the stores now. And... Uh, and they can get big fines if they don't uh, kick people out for not wearing a mask. 
So the lady behind me was not wearing a mask. And I was like, the whole time I was like, okay, the lady at the register, she'll say something, you know, in a couple minutes when she sees it, when she notices, she'll be like, okay, ma'am, you have to leave the store until you put a mask on. She didn't, no one said anything. So I just got my stuff and left and was like, man, this is the most exposed I've been in weeks to other people. And it's like, nobody gives a crap. Nobody's paying attention. Nobody thinks it through. Uh, let's kill the retreater. So the thing I'm noticing about the sniper rifle is that although it's an improvement, I'm done rambling about people, by the way. Although it's been an improvement from a damage perspective and an accuracy perspective, it just seems like it always starts us right next to the enemies. So we're not able to take advantage of our range. And since enemies will like beeline right to us, even if I spend a whole turn just moving away, a lot of times they just catch right up to you and it's like you just spent a turn doing nothing because we're all in the same position we were a minute ago. We're just in a different location now, right? Like we're all still the same distance from one another, but we're just seven tiles in the other direction. And it's like, what is the point of moving <laughs> when everyone is just immediately up in your business? Um, you know, and trying to be... Because when I looked online, when I was trying to find information about um, small guns, the small gun skill, uh, it said, oh, it's possible to build a really powerful sniper character um, with really great ranged accuracy. And from what I'm seeing, it's like, what is that even... It, it's it's silly. Why? Nothing I do matters. They just come right up to us. We're at maximum weight capacity. Okay, give me the caps. What can we get rid of that's not worth very much and is heavy? Uh, probably these. One pound. Five pounds. I feel like these are probably worth a decent amount. I don't think ammo's worth that much. It weighs one pound per. How many do I have? Two, two stacks? I could lose two pounds worth of ammo and pick up a gun, which is probably more valuable. Weighs three pounds. Well, I don't, I don't think the spears are worth very much. They weigh four pounds each. Let's dump those. Check the body again, because I think the pistols are just worth more. Take the pistol. Check the final corpse here. Another pistol, more ammunition. We'll take all of that, of course, if we can. Cannot carry the pistol. Hoping the Brotherhood of Steel have some merchants, because we really need to sell some stuff. Let's go ahead and save. I mean, we're absolutely destroying the enemies that we come across, so that is nice. And all the random encounters are giving us experience. I think completing the quest might bump us up pretty close to leveling. And I believe next level we get a perk. Although I will say the perks have been largely... Oop, let's stop and use first aid. I said I would do that. The perks have been like super disappointing. They seem like there are no combat related perks. Like they all seem to be about accuracy and, and uh, movement and stuff like that. They don't seem to be damage. Oh, we're at max HP. Okay. Um... And I think that's probably because of the traits we took. We're not getting like combat -y traits. But like these have both been a little disappointing as far as I'm concerned. Like sharpshooter just increases perception for determining range and stuff. That's not that good. We already have a lot of range between the sniper rifle and our perception and stuff. Man, we're getting a lot of encounters and none of them are very interesting. Hello, large rodent. Hopefully we can put you down in one. Ooh, too much to ask. Of course we missed the 95% chance. We're missing a lot of 95% chances because uh, games like this always are like that. Of course, XCOM very famously is uh, you will miss 95% chances all the time. Hit in the head for 17 damage. I like So us moving, it just doesn't seem like there's a point to us moving. You were hit for no damage. Dog meat was hit for no damage. I mean, at least they're weak, I guess. And they probably are going to give decent experience. So that's something. They don't give loot, unfortunately. Dog meat is just a beast, man. He does as much damage in one turn as we do, oftentimes. Out of ammo. Reload. Nope. Nope. Use the aimed shot, please. 
aim shot, headshot, blew his little chunks off. Great. Killed them all. 260 experience points. Really not that impressive. Really not that impressive. Let's save again. <sighs> I mean, I'm mostly enjoying Fallout. It's nice to play something with like some tactical combat. It's just the combat isn't actually that tactical. Uh, in my experience here, let's make sure we're going to the Brotherhood. Um, you know, like I said, repositioning that seems to be not that valuable. It seems like most of the time your job is to just face tank everything. So we should be able to complete this quest. Hello, Paladin. Oh, an initiate. My mistake, you're not a Paladin. Hey, you're back. Did you get something? I did, and all it cost me was... You know, probably like eight years of my life due to radiation poisoning and lots right. of vomiting. But um, the High Elder said you have to give it to me before I can let you in. Sorry. Uh-huh. This okay. is great. Hang on while I open the door. Oh, good. I thought they weren't going to let me in. 2,000 experience points for becoming an initiate. Does that mean I get some power armor? Oh, you know that corpse in power armor? We didn't have the opportunity to steal his power armor champion actions have revealed you to be a champion of the people your war against evil and villainy is widely known honorable people will respect you better oh okay well, cabot well, what can i help you with do you have stuff you will not barter with me Goodbye. could really do with unloading some stuff to be honest with you let's uh head into the brotherhood uh one please Maybe we can get some power armor. I believe also the Brotherhood is where you can buy. Might be offended if a stranger approaches with a weapon. My mistake. Sorry. Who are you? Paladin. Brotherhood guard. Hey there, legs. You're looking mighty fine. What time should I pick you up? Uh, sure. That's pretty funny. You're joking, I hope. Actually, don't answer that. I don't think I want to know. Yeah, real funny. Almost as much as your face. Thanks a lot. That's exactly what I needed to hear right now. Sure. I'm sorry. It's just that you outsiders have such a strange way of talking to people sometimes. Is there anything I can help you with? Um, Weapons? Sure. Talk to Talos. He may be able to help you. Uh, during the day, Talos is normally supervising in a training hall. Do you know where that is? Uh, no, of course not. Training hall is right around the corner. Go down the corridor, make a left, go through the door at the end of the corridor, and it will be the door on your right. Okay. Uh, training hall. Thanks, sugar. You know, you're looking mighty fine. What do you say you and me check out each other's equipment later? I mean, this is just skeezy. I would never say things like this. I just clicked the first one for poops and giggles. We'll click this one as well. Well, you are cute, uh, but I don't think so. I don't think it would be a good idea to get involved with an outsider. Anyway, uh, you are cute, though, and somewhat attractive. Oh, I love that. Thank you. That's, that's nice. So, honey, uh, I don't know if it's because you're an outsider or because of your extreme lack of tact. Uh, so, honey, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, no, I'm good. I was just fooling, madam. Okay, down the hall, take a left, through a doorway. Oh, clearly this is the training area. Uh, yeah, I believe the Brotherhood is also where you can get the permanent upgrades to your attributes. So we'll look into that as well. Hello, Talus. I'm looking to barter with you. Oh, how do I get better weapons and equipment? You're entitled to a few things. I'll put in a clearance for combat armor and three orders of ammunition. Bullets of your choice. Just see Michael in the next room for the supplies. Okay, thanks. Michael in the next room. You Michael? Michael. Hello, Michael. Have to open the door again, because doors like to close behind you. Move dog meat. Okay, talk to Michael. Uh, I've been told to check something out. Could you tell me if it went through? You're authorized to check something out. A good defense is the best offense, or was it the other way around? It doesn't matter. Here's your armor. Be sure to take care of it. I can't give you out. I can't give out more than one set. Was there another item you need? Yes, I have something else to pick up. Sorry, I must have missed it. Let me see. You're authorized to check. You get some ammunition. What kind do you need? I mean, we're using 223, but we have so much of it. I was hoping there'd be like rockets or something of high value we could buy from them. Uh, 
armor piercing, huh? 14 millimeter. I don't know what gun uses that. Again, we would like to be working up to like a minigun or something, but I don't know which ammo the minigun uses. Probably five mil, you would think, right? Just give me the 223. Nah, it's such a waste. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, just examine the weapon that you requested ammo for. Just give me a holler. Can I, can I please barter with you? Thank you. All you have is a hundred. I mean, we'll take it. Because it'll be lighter than the crap. Oh. Superior version of combat armor. Oh, baby. How much is this worth? 4,800. The combat armor from the gun runners was much more expensive. But hey, I mean, it was free, so take that. 750, that's a little overkill for what we're gonna be buying here, I think. Yeah, let's uh, pull back two of them. Let's see if we can get rid of this crowbar and stuff, because it's probably pretty heavy and whatnot. Yeah, that'll do. There you go, gun and a crowbar. Done. Done. Okay, uh, definitely check the armor. So we're at 23. Go down, check the armor. Uh, 23, I don't know what the numbers represent here exactly. I'm not sure why the first one is zero in a lot of these cases. This is better, a lot higher percentages. So we'll definitely be wearing this. That seems very good. Uh, we now match everyone else, which I hate conformity, but whatever. So who's in charge here? Let's uh, ask her who's in charge. We never did that. Oh, probably this guy. Senior scribe. Be careful if you go out north. Our scouts never returned. Well, you were giving me directions a minute ago. Why aren't you talking to me anymore? Is it because I hit on you so hard? Rhombus. Has a great name, brah. Let's uh, go talk to this dude. I don't think I've ever really I been in here. Help you. Uh, yeah, what's up? Tell me... Well, can you tell me about the, the surrounding area? The harbor and the boneyard are south, mountains are east, and desolate wasteland north. Whoever goes there never returns. Do you want to trade with me? No. Okay, what about I rumors? I do not put stock in rumors. Oh, come on. Just the no. one little rumor. Come on, pretty please. Do you not hear? I will not say it again. He's an angry dude. I will Let's waste try this no again. more time with you. Oh, we like seriously ticked him off? That's not good. Uh, we might have ruined a quest or something. Uh oh. Um, where else would we get a quest? I'm concerned now that we broke it, but I also don't want to have to redo all the stuff I just did. Let's check this door. It goes down even further. Okay, climb in the elevator. Lots of floors. I don't really feel like going through floor by floor, I'll be honest with you. Good God, there's so many people here. We just gotta look for someone who stands out. Knight. Scribes. Knights. Hmm. Initiate. Dude in the bathroom. Probably shouldn't bother him. Looks like these are all basic people. Looks like there's a lot of stuff to steal here, but there's a lot of people around to guard it as well. What is this monitor? Okay, let's just pop down another floor. We're looking for someone who stands out as potentially the boss. Um, ooh, looks like a good place we could do some trading maybe in their workshop over here. A knight, Knight Paul, great. He's named so we can probably interact with him. Come up here. Oh, yet another episode where we primarily explored things instead of really having anything progress here. Uh, can we barter? God, why will no one trade with me? Where can I get some weapons? I have to see Michael. <sighs> Freaking annoying. Okay. Guys guarding this place. Free. Sophia the Instructor. So that looks like probably where we want to go. So let's do that. Cannot get there. Yes, you can. Oh, we can't, because stupid doors close all the time. <sighs> okay, we'll head over here. Yeah, I don't really remember the Brotherhood of Steel 
in this game. It's been, like I said, a really long time since I played Fallout. I'm remembering bits and pieces, but not the majority of things. Okay. Hello, Sophia. Greetings. I have not seen you here before. Are you lost? May I be of service? Could you direct me to the library? This is the library. Here we keep records of all technical data on weaponry and technology, and of course, the history of the Brotherhood. Um, is this the place where I would find hollow disks? With many hollow disks, they are divided between. Yeah, I don't really care about those. Uh, I was sent here to ask Vree about the history of Brotherhood. It seems that people have forgotten the importance of history. Well, can you tell me about your history? Well, it's good to see someone interested. Here you go. This is a disc of some of our earliest writings. Thank you. Uh, Vri, hello. Greetings. It's a fine day for learning. Can I You're help a you? bald lady. Oh, no, you have a uh, ponytail, I guess. And the little half glasses. That's cool. I know you're the master scribe, but what does I that mean? I record the knowledge of our ancestors for future generations. Interesting. So you yes, know stuff. I guess you could say I know stuff. Don't talk down to me. What you will not I barter with me. <sighs> I'd like to know more about the Speak weapons we the make knights. here. Ask them to show you one of the latest laser pistols I designed. Go I've ahead. got another question. How do I prevent you would rad need some anti radiation drugs. I have some. Take these immediately if you think you're near radiation. Thanks. So did you give me some? You did. Rad X. Okay. And we'll use the hollow tape. You Pip Boy displays downloading data from disk. We gain a hundred experience points. Archives. Status. Sophia tape. Oh, no. No, I'm, I'm not reading this. So, if that's something that interests you, go ahead and pause the video. There you go. Go ahead and give that a read. And, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing this. I want quests. Said talk to a knight about their pistol. They all have miniguns, which is neat. I would like a minigun, please. Where do I requisition a minigun? Look, they wouldn't even let dog meat in the library. That's messed up. Let's try the final floor. Uh, if we don't find anything, I'll look between episodes about who gives quests. Hopefully not the guy we ticked off, because that would be real unfortunate. Four. Okay. You would think the leader would be on the very bottom floor. Brotherhood guard, brotherhood guard. General Maxon. Now you sound like a man who gets things done. A little, uh, little communion room, pulpit, okay, fine. Please stop closing doors in my face. Getting very old. Okay, open up. Talk to General Maxson. Uh, hello, youngster. Oh, you Cabot are old. Said you wanted to talk. Look, I'm, uh, I'm pretty stacked up right now, so I'll, uh, stacked I'll up. I'll help you out as long as you don't start flapping your gums too much. You know, outsiders are like that, always jawing. <laughs> Gotta like me, huh? You old. You're an old man. I really expected you to be like a fit young general, to be honest. Do you know what's behind the disappearance of the when caravans? We heard about the missing caravans, we sent out a few scouts east and north. The ones that went north never returned. One came back from the east. He talked about a score of strange beings all... Muscle with burning eyes. The elders aren't doing squat, but I'm getting ready just the same. So the death claws, I guess. How do you know they didn't desert? I believe I've run into these creatures you were describing there not to be taken lightly. I've actually never run into these creatures, so I'm not sure why we have this dialogue option. Then you understand the problem. To survive, we need someone who knows the outside. Uh -huh. Like you. Uh, I'll go up north. Give me... I'm not going to ask you to pay me. I'll go up north and check it Good. out. Anything else you need to ask? Can I get some better stuff? Yeah, I suggest you talk to my assistant, Mathia, about that. Okay. Mathia. That's a good name. Maxon has cleared you a weapons upgrade. What would you like? 
sniper rifle, rocket launcher, laser pistol, power fist, or ripper. I would like a minigun. If you could give me a minigun, would be great. Because I'll tell you, every single one of these weapons, one, we have a sniper rifle. Every one of these is not something I want. Laser pistol, we're not going to raise our energy weapons. Power fist, we don't do melee. Ripper, we don't do melee. So I guess we'll take a rocket launcher because it's at least a heavy weapon, but I'm not happy about it. Uh, can I trade with anyone here? Please trade with me. My God, I have so much stuff to unload and there's no one here to trade with. I don't want to walk all the way back down to the hub just to trade goods. So we're supposed to head up north and scout the area. So we'll, we'll do that. Um, I do think we really, really would like to trade though and unload some of the crap we have because um, I bet we're overweight carrying the uh, yeah we're at 185 weight we can only carry 150 so because they gave it to us it put us overweight considerably I bet the rocket launcher is enormous I did not think about that the weight is going to be a concern here 18 pounds we might just sell the rocket launcher. I don't want the rocket launcher. I'm going to blow myself up. Um, I would prefer a minigun. If I had to pick a heavy weapon, I would like it to be a minigun. So let's get out of here. Take me up. Take me up. Get me back to the world map. Actually, let's save. Uh, so we'll save the game. Yes. Save. Save the game. Okay, we'll head back to the world map. And, uh, yeah, I don't think there's anywhere nearby we can trade, unfortunately, because uh, they really just didn't give anybody loot in this game. Uh, they didn't give anybody inventories, it seems like. So we'll peep this. This might be Junktown. We could go to Junktown and talk to Killian again. I think that's the one that's the northernmost one is, is Junktown. We've unlocked the cathedral. We're missing one location in our list here. We've passed a very hefty amount of time since starting the game. Take me to the place I love. Take it all away. I don't ever want to feel... Come back in the morning like I did that day. I'll see you in the morning. Hey, I need to get in. Sorry, the rules are rules. No strangers admit. I'm not a stranger. I murdered a ton of people for you. <sighs> okay, well. Just wait for like two hours. Great, it's morning. Let me in, dummy. Okay, let's go uh, check out what Killian's got going on. See, we have the jail here. I'm wondering if we could have done something different with Gizmo and gotten him locked up instead of killed. Also, while we're here, why don't we destroy that gang that we were a little too weak to deal with before? We're now wearing combat armor and have the sniper rifles. So I bet we could take them pretty easily. We might just go start a fight with them while we're in town. Actually, we're about at the end of the episode. We, again, feel like we accomplished nothing this episode, and it's a real bummer. Can I help ahead. you? Yes, I would like to trade Killian. Do your jawline and everything. 125 caps is all you've got here. You can take the stim pack. You really don't want any of this. Honestly, it was just the stim pack. So let's check a different shelf. Can I help you? Trade. Not really caps. He does have ammo for sale, which we could pick up. Uh, so give me all the caps. I don't really want this. I'll take the 223. 300. So we'll give him two pistols, I think. Or a pistol and a, like the brass knuckles. Should be enough. 290. Uh, so we can go up to 500. He doesn't have anything else I would want to take from him. On a hollow disc. What is this? Sophia gave us that. No, we don't want... Wait, Sophia. Sophia is the lady, the pretty lady whose boyfriend was killed or that guy's son got killed. Hollow disc. Okay, uh, I don't really know what to do about that. Uh, we'll give you, I don't know, how much is a repair tool? 490. Dump this. 240. <sighs> 200. So we'll just give him a pistol and call it even. 
at this point i think min maxing to get like the the most optimal trade is like not in our best interest i think we really just need to unload stuff i'm disappointed that their Did stocks I don't seem you? to be refreshing that seems like a really basic thing that every game should have you literally have no caps in this inventory okay give me give me all the stim packs we need to dump weight we need to so give me all this how much is this way? I, I, I don't even know. I wish it would say. Uh, so a thousand. How much is the armor worth? 800. How much is the rocket launcher? 2,500. Yeah, we're going to hold on to that. Unfortunately. So go ahead and give him this and give him the armor. No. No, the armor. There you go. Oh, we're just a little shy. You can have the brass knuckles as well. I'm really reluctant to give you any caps because I'd rather have a large number of caps rather than a large number of junk in my inventory. But here, you can have five caps. And then one more. We'll talk to him in regular dialogue and see what his inventory is. Better. Nope. No. <sighs> Get me out of this menu. Okay. Talk to him oh, directly. Howdy. What can I do for you Okay. Today? Now we barter. Five caps and a knife. Oh my god. Okay, so garbage. So that was a, mostly a waste of time. We didn't really unload anything. I'm getting a little frustrated by that, if I'm being perfectly honest. I'm not happy about that at all. Let's uh, come up here. We don't have time to deal with them. Let's uh, go pick a fight with the... No, let's call the episode. We'll call the episode. Next time we will... Uh, Get into a fight with these folks, kill them all, and hopefully collect a reward of some sort. Really disappointed we've been unable to unload our haul at this point. I don't see... I don't know. I'm disappointed, frankly. We have all this stuff that I don't actually want. And it's like there's nowhere to sell it. I don't like that the uh, merchants don't refresh. Anyway, for now, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. And, like, I don't want to walk all the way back down to the south just to trade things. It's so annoying. Um, so that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I'll be back, of course, with more Fallout in the near future. And I'll see you next time.